Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saturday, the 13th of August, 2022, of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, are the optional memorial of Saints Pontian, Pope, and Hippolytus, priest, martyrs, and the Blessed Virgin Mary. I, saith he, will go before thee, and will humble the great ones of the earth. I will open the gates of the prison, and will reveal to thee hidden secrets. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, may we never hinder our youth from coming to you to receive your blessing, instruction, and healing power. Make our youth strong in faith and in character, that they may follow you zealously. And as we grow with age, may we never lose that childlike simplicity and humility which draws us into your loving presence. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Today's feast commemorates a Pope, Pontian, and an anti-Pope, Hippolytus, united in martyrdom. Under the Emperor Maximinus, both men were exiled to the salt mines in Sardinia, Italy, in 235 and died of cruel mistreatment. Hippolytus reconciled with the Church before his death. With what praises can I extol you, most valiant brothers? What words can I find to proclaim and celebrate your brave hearts and your preserving faith? Examined under the fiercest torture, you held out until your ordeal was consummated in glory. It was not you who yielded to the torments but rather the torments that yielded to you. This was written by Saint Cyprian. The Epistle I will judge you according to your ways. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 1 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, what is the meaning of this proverb that you recite in the land of Israel? Others have eaten green grapes, thus their children's teeth are on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, I swear that there shall no longer be anyone among you who will repeat this proverb in Israel, for all lives are mine. The life of the Father is like the life of the Son. Both are mine. Only the one who sins shall die. If a man is virtuous, if he does what is right and just, if he does not eat on the mountains, nor raise his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, if he does not defile his neighbor's wife, nor have relations with a woman in her menstrual period, if he oppresses no one, gives back the pledge received for a debt, commits no robbery, if he gives food to the hungry and clothes the naked, if he does not lend at interest nor exact usury, if he holds off from the evil doing, judges fairly between a man and his opponent, if he lives by my statutes and is careful to observe my ordinances, 
that man is virtuous. He shall surely live, says the Lord God. But if he begets a son who is a thief, a murderer, or lends at interest and exacts usury, this son shall surely not live. Because he practiced all these abominations, he shall surely die. His death shall be his own fault. Therefore I will judge you, house of Israel, each one according to his ways, says the Lord God. Turn to be converted from all your crimes, that they may be no cause of guilt for you. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone who dies, says the Lord God. Return and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 51 Responsorial Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit a heart contrite and humbled. O oh God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O oh God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel Let the children come to me, and do not prevent them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 19, verse 13. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, let the children come to me, and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Matthew chapter 19 verse 14 We have probably seen dozens of versions of this heartwarming image of Jesus surrounded by little children. But as we turn our gaze to the challenges of daily life, this scene can lose its relevance to our lives. That's fine for children's liturgy on Sundays, we might think, but it doesn't speak to my real-world situation. The disciples in today's gospel 
thought they were important because they were embarking on serious business. They knew that Jesus was unveiling God's plan and fulfilling his mission as the Messiah, though they didn't quite understand how. And they knew the mission could be dangerous. So they listened intently. No wonder they were annoyed when the children interrupted him. No time for this. The master is on a mission and so are we. But then Jesus corrected them in his stunning words. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Matthew chapter 19 verse 14. The disciples had been wrong. They misunderstood Jesus' mission. They didn't see what he thought was important. Not only were the children not an interruption, but they were also a prophetic sign of his kingdom. What's more, the disciples needed to learn from these little ones how to come to Jesus, and so do we. You are not an interruption to Jesus. On the contrary, He always has time for you, whatever your needs. He is not too busy to help you. He isn't annoyed by your questions. He is ruler of the world, yes, and your problems may not seem as weighty as other problems in the world, but He still cares about them. He still cares about you. Jesus came to remove every barrier between God and His people. He is eager to have a relationship with the children, with the disciples, and with you. So come to Him freely with a teachable and humble heart. Bring Him your burdens, your hopes, and your fears. Come with confidence in His love. The kingdom of heaven is open to you. Lord, I come to you with trust today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello. I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.